In this video, you're gonna learn how to clean your steering wheel in your vehicle. Whether it's really dirty, whether it needs a light touch up, whether you just wanna use an old toothbrush, or you have a bunch of interior brushes you wanna use, I'll cover, I'll cover the main components to cleaning your steering wheel. And you'll see in this video, I actually have a GoPro. So many of you complained about me not having a GoPro, and you don't understand this, but a GoPro, when you put it on your head, it's act either your head or your chest, it's actually not a good angle. It's in a very strange position because my hands might be working here or down here, but you only see straight. And on your head, especially when you're working on the interior, it literally hits the entire headboard and everything every time you're moving around. So the best place for a GoPro in art, for what I'm doing, and what you see across the YouTube platform is putting it in your mouth right here. This is like your best perspective that you can get with a GoPro. Obviously, it sounds funny. There's a specific mouthpiece, mouthpiece for it, but when you see GoPro videos on my channel, it's probably gonna be in my mouth because that's gonna give you the best perspective. This is too low, coming at a weird angle. This is too high, and it hits everything in the interior, so I'll just be kind of doing that from now on. So this steering wheel actually isn't bad. It's a 2017 Toyota Tacoma and it's gone through two owners but overall it's in good condition but regardless you're going to be able to apply these same concepts whether it's really dirty or like this you just need a quick touch up okay first one is up is if you just have an old toothbrush lying around you're simply going to get your cleaner i'm specifically using super clean diluted 10 to 1 which you can find locally, and you'll spray into your brush and simply agitate the plastic panels. We don't wanna to touch the buttons yet, but we'll simply do the plastic um, areas. And you don't wanna use that much down pressure, even if your steering wheel is very dirty, you can still use light to medium pressure and that's going to take care of the job. You don't wanna put that much force down just to make sure you're not gonna damage, harm, or discolor anything. And it's literally just repeating that process of spraying into your brush, agitating and then wiping it down and you don't want to let anything dry so before anything does dry and after you worked it long enough you simply want to wipe it down and there you see there's a light a little hue of dirtiness coming off it's not the color of the steering wheel it's just a little bit of dirt and if you don't want to make a mess you can simply use a towel underneath the brush while you're spraying so the so the solution can go into the towel and you're literally just going to work the entire steering wheel with this one brush again you can use an old toothbrush if you'd like but you literally go around the stitching the plastic panels and all that to remove all the gunk that you can light to medium pressure you de you don't need to go heavy with the down pressure now make sure you're getting the sides of the steering wheel behind the steering wheel don't just look at the forward facing part of the steering wheel Make sure you're working all around the steering wheel. If you're using a toothbrush, then I wouldn't recommend cleaning the buttons and letterings with it. I would use the brush to get the dust or debris that might be stuck in the uh, crevices of those buttons. But to actually clean the letterings and such, I would spray APC into a towel and then gently agitate around it. Make sure you're not taking off any of the letterings and then use a brush, like I said, to get into those very tight areas to maybe get any of the solution or debris or dust that may be trapped inside. But be very careful because sometimes, sometimes the lettering does come off on the steering wheels. Now moving on to the second method, this one is if you have a couple of brushes laying around. These are from Detail Factory, but don't worry about the specific brush that I'm using as long as you have one or two soft bristle brushes, that's all that matters. And you're simply going to spray your cleaner into your brush and agitate the entire steering wheel. And here, because the bristles are softer, I'm not worried about damaging or harming or anything like that, so I can cover the entire steering wheel with this one brush. And same thing, you never want to let anything dry, so either keep on applying cleaner into your brush and agitate, 
or when it seems like it's just drying out because of the weather or because the surface is hot, go ahead and wipe it down with gentle pressure because you want to keep in mind that the letterings on the steering wheel, maybe if you rub it too hard, maybe the solution stays under too long, it can take off the letterings. Now with your second brush, you're simply going to wipe, you're going to agitate inside those edges to remove any other debris or solution that may still be stuck in there. Same way as the first method, except this one, we have a dedicated brush and they're softer bristles. So we're just covering the entire steering wheel with this one or two brushes. Now here it's where it might, it's just up to you where you can do the stitchings and all that with this one brush. Now if they're a bit dirtier or they just need a more of an aggressive cleaning, you could switch out to the to your toothbrush style um, brush just because it's going to give you a more thorough cleaning and it might speed up the process a little bit because it can get more it can be more of a thorough cleaning and it's kind of easier to hold your hand in the way to really get the stitchings behind and underneath the steering wheel and sorry for the shorts i usually wear pants but it was really hot outside and just even with that as i said earlier in the beginning of the video, I was already sweating pretty hard and I was literally out there for like 20 minutes. So pants would have just made things even worse. So my bad for the view if you don't like it. But anyways, uh, so yeah, so you could do it this method. There's nothing wrong with it. You may want to do multiple applications if you're just going to go with a softer brush because it's softer, not going to agitate as thoroughly. So you're not going to get as good of results on the first pass. But here, because the steering wheel isn't that bad, I'm just going to give it a quick pass with the soft bristle brush. And we're just about done. All you need to do is use that other brush or the same brush. Just make sure you wipe it down to remove any excess solution and just wipe down any excess dirt or solution that may be stuck in those wedges or those tight areas. Wipe it down with a towel and you have a good looking, almost new or pretty much new steering wheel. This is going to apply whether it's really dirty or it just needs a light touch up like I did in this video. Boom, quick video, nothing crazy, straightforward. You don't have to go too crazy. You can use those same brushes to do a lot of parts of the interior. I'll be making more short interior exterior videos as we come along. There is a bunch of noise. It's not a rattlesnake. I'm not sure what it is but it's just the environment we're working in. I'll see you on the next one.